activity 2.8 take solutions of glucose alcohol and hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid okay uh, i'll write down the formulas of all this glucose is c6h12o6 alcohol alcohol has actually uh, many uh, like members of alcohol group are there uh, which will come in chapter 4 so methyl alcohol ethyl alcohol i am writing ethyl alcohol c2h5oh hydrochloric acid hcl and sulfuric acid h2so4 okay so why they are asking to take this all compounds because all of them has hydrogen in them okay now uh, fix two nails on a cork and place the cork in 100 ml beaker okay uh, this way as shown in the figure connect the nails to two terminals of 6 volt battery through a bulb and switch okay so these are the two nails and uh, here 6 volt battery is connected here and a bulb is connected a switch is there and again it is connected to another nail okay now pour some dilute hcl in the beaker and switch on the current okay now this beaker is filled with dilute hcl okay then uh, the repeat this activity with dilute sulfuric acid okay so actually after filling it with dilute hcl this switch is closed and circuit is complete so what do you observe we'll see that bulb will glow with hydrochloric acid bulb will glow with dilute sulfuric acid also the bulb will glow okay but when we'll repeat this ex experiment with uh, glucose and alcohol the bulb will not glow okay so does the bulb glow in all cases no bulb glow with hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid but it does not glow with glucose and alcohol okay now what is the reason so here the observation is also written bulb will start glowing in the cases of acids but you will observe that glucose and alcohol solutions do not conduct electricity glowing of bulb is actually indicating that there is flow of electric current okay now why does electric current flows in some cases and why it does not so in case of acids like hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid acids dissociate dissociate means they uh, divide into ions or they give h plus ions so this hcl dissociate into h plus ion and cl minus ion okay and this ions are responsible for conduction of electricity okay similarly with h2so4 also it will give out h plus ion and sulfate ion but in case of glucose and alcohol they will not dissociate into h plus ions or oh ions okay so glucose and alcohol do not dissociate into h plus ions therefore they do not conduct electricity okay so since the cation present in is h plus this suggests that acid produce hydrogen ions which is responsible for their acidic properties okay now one more question is given repeat the same activity with sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide what can you conclude from this so when we'll repeat this activity with sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide then also it will conduct electricity because naoh it also disso dissociates into n plus ions and oh minus ions okay so all substances which can dissociate means divide into ions conduct electricity but substances which do not dissociate into ions do not conduct electricity